Today again this video is going to solve a problem. Let's crack the question for the most important problem. This problem is taken from numerical solutions of ordinary differential equations. We have to solve using Euler's method. So solve by Euler's method y dash is equal to x plus y, y at 0 is equal to 1 and we have to find the value of y of uh, 0 0.3 and taking the step size h is equal to 0 0.1 and compare the result obtained by this method. So first of all what is given? It is given that y dash is equal to x plus y. So according to the Euler's method, see according to the Euler's method, we have a formula that, see here, y at n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h times of f of x in y n. So first of all, I am going to keep n is equal to 0. If I keep n is equal to 0, this will be n1 is equal to y0 plus h times of f of x0 and this is y0. So again, it was given that y at 0 is equal to 1 which means y0 is equal to 1 and x0 is equal to x0 is equal to 0 and h value is given as 0 0.1. So I, have, I can substitute all the values here. What is y1? So y1 it should be found and y0 is equal to this is 1 plus h is 0 0.1 f at x0 0 and y0 this is 1. So according to the question we have our function f of x comma y is equal to x plus y. So this we have to take it as it's a function in x comma y. So we have to add up these two. Therefore y1 is equal to this is 1 plus 0 0.1 into 0 plus 1. So y1 is equal to 1 plus 5 multiply it will be 0 0.1 and y1 is equal to this is 1.1. So what then what is x1? This is x0 plus h. What is x0 here? x0 is nothing but 0 and h is equal to 0 0.1. So I got this value as 0 0.1. So I got x1 as 0 0.1 and y1 as 1.1. So after getting these two values, again according to the Euler's modified method, so we have y at n plus 1 is equal to yn plus h times of f at xn into yn. Now we have to keep, this time we have to keep n is equal to 1. So if I keep n is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 this is 2 and this is y1 plus h times of f at x1 y1. So y2 we have to find out and y1 is equal to this is 1.1. So we got the value as 1.1 uh, plus h times. So what is h value? So h it is given from the question as a step size as 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.1 times of f of x1. x1 is equal to 0 0.1 and y1 this is 1.1. So y2 is equal to 1.1 plus 0 0.1 times of again we have f of x comma y is equal to this is x plus y so we have to add these two so y2 is equal to 1.1 plus 0 0.1 this is 1.2 and our y2 value is c i'll show you this value is 1.1 plus this is 0 0.1 into this is 1.2 so which is equal to 1.22 so this value is 1.22 and what about x2 x2 is equal to x1 plus h so x2 is equal to what is x1 x1 is nothing but 0 0.1 and h is nothing but 0 0.1 so x2 is equal to 0 0.2 so we got x2 value as 0 0.2 so after getting x2 and the y2 Again, we have to go with y3. So, again, in which formula view we have to use? That is y n plus 1 is equal to, this is y n plus h times of f of x n into y n. So, if I keep n is equal to 3 this time, so 2 this time, so 2 this time, this will be y3 is equal to, this is y2 plus h times of f of x2 into y2. So y3 is equal to what is y2? y2 value is c 1.22. This is 1.22 plus h times of 0 0.1. This is f of x2 is 0 0.2 and y2 is 1.22.
So y3 is equal to 1.22 plus 0.1. This is f of x comma y. x comma y is nothing but f of x y. So in this if I keep this will be 0 0.2 plus 1.22. So y3 value if I check in the cancel this will be 1.22 plus this is 0 0.2 into and this value is 1.1.42 and this is 1.362 i got the value as 1.362 and x3 is equal to x2 plus h and x3 is equal to what is uh, x2 x2 value i'll show you this is 0 0.2 this is a 0 0.2 plus 1.0.1 which is equal to 0 0.3 so i got x3 value as 0 0.3 so after getting all these values just i'll, I'll keep it in a table so first it is uh, the first value is 0 for x1 so x values and y values for uh, this one i'll show you x1 y1 x1 0 0.1 if it's 0 0.1 then y1 value is 1.1 if it's 0 0.2 here x2 value is if it's 0 0.2 this is 1.22 y value is 1.22 if it's 0 0.3 then this value is 1.362 so we have to compare with the exact solution now to compare with the exact solution this is asked in the question to compare with exact solution so now i'll compare with the exact solution see what is the question given here the question given here is dy by dx is equal to x plus y i'll show you the question given here is dy by dx is equal to x plus y so this can be written as dy by dx minus y is equal to x now i have to compare this equation with dy by dx plus py is equal to q if i compare the p value is minus 1 and q value is x now the integrating factor if it's a linear equation the integrating factor is integral p dx so which is equal to integral minus 1 into dx which is equal to e power minus x this is the integrating factor and the solution for this is y into integrating factor is equal to q into integrating factor of dx plus c for that y into the integrating factor is e power minus x is equal to q what is q here this is x into e power minus x dx so again this is uv rule so u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus integral derivative of u integral v dx whole dx so now we have to use this formula that is y into e power minus x is equal to u we have to leave as it is v we have to integrate minus e power minus x the derivative of u is 1 and the integration is minus e power minus x into dx y into e power minus x is equal to this is minus x e power minus x this is again minus e power minus x plus c now if i divide throughout the equation with e power minus x then this will be y would be if i send to this side this will be minus x minus 1 plus c into e power plus x so y value is minus of x plus 1 plus c times of e power x so it's clear for you this value is very clear now we have to substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 if i keep this value then this is going to become in place of y i have to keep 1 this is 0 plus 1 plus c into this is e power 0 now this is 1 is equal to minus 1 plus c and c is equal to 1 plus 1 and c value is 2 after getting the c value what is the solution the solution is this one so i have to substitute the value of c in this equation so y is equal to minus of x plus 1 plus 2 into e power x so this can be written as 2 into e power x minus x plus 1. So now I have to get the values of y at, uh, see which values I have 
it is needed so i have to calculate the values at 0.1 so that is 2 into e power 0.1 minus 0.1 plus 1 so this value is how much 0.1 so now i'll show you that is 2 into this is e power 0.1 minus brackets 0 0.1 plus 1 if i close this what is the value here that is 1 point 1.11034 and the next one y at 0 0.2 this is e power in place of x i have to write 0 0.2 minus this is 0 0.2 plus 1 so for that this is 2 into shift in 0 0.2 minus this is 0 0.2 plus 1 now what is the value here this is one point y at 0 0.1 is equal to this is 1.2428 and the next one see here and the next one y at 0 0.3 is equal to 2 into e power 0 0.3 minus in place of x i have to write 0 0.3 plus 1 so for that it is 2 into shift in sorry 2 into shift in 0 0.3 minus brackets 0 0.3 plus 1 so this value is 1.33 something so y at 0 0.3 is so this is 0 0.2 it is 1.3997 so these are our exact values so i'll show you the exact values y at 0 0.1 this is y at 0 0.2 and this is y at 0 0.3. I'll show you the exact values. Now we can compare this one. See here the exact values for all the three values here. So these are x values. These are x values for 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. These are Euler values of y and uh, this is exact values of y the euler values of y are see i'll show you the table here the table is for 0 0.1 it is 1.1 for 0 0.2 it is 1.22 and for 0 0.3 it is 1.362 and now the exact value at y at 0 0.1 is this is 1.110 and at uh, y at 0 0.2 this value is 1.24 and at 0 0.3 this value is 1.3997. So the values of y deviate from the exact value as uh, x increases. So in order to modify this, so in the next chapter we are going to discuss the modified Euler's method to get the exact values. This is how we have to compare and in few questions it is asked to compare or else it is asked to find the values of y at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. And thanking you very much for watching all this video. If you really like raise your thumb, leave a comment and share it to your friends. Thank you so much.